She's like, spank her. Can you spank an iguana? <laughs> she's like, yeah, look. She's like, I'm gonna pop you in the jaw. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Look, you know me and my wonderful, amazing iguana. However, it was funny. I was looking through Google. I saw this stuff. And for some reason, it came up about dangerous uh, reptiles and then dangerous, I think it was the top seven most dangerous lizards, turtles. And iguana was number four. <laughs> I, I had to laugh. I was like, an iguana is number four on that list, dangerous lizards, turtles. I don't know, but I'll, I figured, you know what? Let's make a little video about it and see if you guys agree. So comment, let me know if you think iguana, because to, in my opinion, there were several monitor lizards that should have been on the list that weren't. However, here we are. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you go back and kind of check out some of my wonderful iguana videos during the playlist. You will see uh, how much of a peach this uh, iguana of mine, Starla, really is. But let's take a look and see if you guys agree that iguanas are dangerous. Ooh. <laughs> so many things going on. What's up, girl? Yo, come on, get on video again. She's like, yes, this is my favorite thing to do. Don't you whip me. Don't you, don't you do it. Look, we're being sweet today. Woo, these nails are sharp. Holy moly. You, you stop. Behave. You hear me? Behave, you gonna, you get a spanking. All right, I figured we'll come outside, you know, this hurricane, beautiful rain coming down. She'd definitely enjoy it, right? Hey, chill out, chill out. I did put this glove on. Uh, obviously their nails are the worst. But anyway, so when it comes to dangerous, in my opinion, the Komodo dragon was on there, extremely dangerous, right? Life-threatening, uh, the Gila monster. I believe there was a couple snapping turtles and, and maybe a couple monitors. I, I, I don't know, I struggle to think that they're dangerous. Butthead, absolutely. Annoying, uh, tear you up, uh, make you not want to hold them. Yes, this is one reason why they are not great beginner reptiles. For one, as you can tell, they get pretty big. And I don't know, let's see if you can zoom in a little bit here. Th to me, that is a talon. I mean, look, that's like an eagle, which is one reason why they're so fast at getting up trees. Um, the power in their legs in general. So these are very powerful animals. As you can tell, it kind of just tore my hand up a little bit, getting her out. And you can almost see the muscles in her legs. So yes, is this a very powerful lizard? Absolutely. But dangerous, I don't know. You know, I, I don't feel the nails, right? We'll talk about the nails are, are, are a danger. I mean, they're gonna tear you up by like a cat would. The tail, <laughs> look, just click right here. You'll get to see what the tail looks like. Then come back, finish this video. Um, the tail is, is brutal. I mean, this is literally a whip uh, and they are phenomenal at it. Just like how I am with a, with a uh, pool towel, got cracking that thing. She is a, ch <laughs> a champ with that. And then you look at their bite. Um, they do have some, some very sharp teeth. <laughs> Sorry, God, she is just gorgeous. I love these guys. Um, let's see. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. Woo. <laughs> look. Let me tell you something. When you film with a butthead iguana, it is a task. It is. So as you can tell, I've changed clothes after uh, I've been pooped on. We've cleaned her, we've cleaned us, we've cleaned my clothes. Uh, wash your hands. Remember, I've always told you guys, remember they got uh, salmonella in their poop. Uh, you do not want that getting in you. So when you handle iguanas, make sure you wash your hands. Don't touch your face, just like COVID. I'm telling you, treat iguanas the same way, especially when they poop and pee all over you. Look at her jaws. I, I want to turn her around, but <laughs> I just don't feel like getting tore up today. But if you can just see the power in those jaws right there. Now, remember, I, I've said it before, okay? Again, the dangerous part of it, I don't really see. Uh, if they got a hold of your finger, would you need some stitches? Uh, to me, that would be the, the worst. I have read a couple uh, rare occurrences where they've degloved a, a finger. Some of these ginormous uh, six and a half, seven foot male iguanas. Um, and like I said, they can tear you up. I mean, the nails are sharp, the tail is strong. This is a powerful lizard, but just to be ranked number four, I, I don't know. I'd love to know what you guys think um, about these guys. And I know some people have some, you know, very tame, uh, well-mannered iguanas. I do not, I don't, I, don't, I don't have one of those at all. Stop, stop, we're just talking, we're just talking. Look, okay, we can be friends. 
Can we be friends? What do you think? She's like, I don't know. She's like, I don't know. I can see, I can feel her building up. Like, I want to jack your face up. I know you do. I can see you. Don't be side eyeing me. We're talking. We're friends. You hear me? It's like a spank. A, can you spank an iguana? <laughs> she's like, yeah, look. She's like, I'm gonna pop you in the jaw. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this one. But I just wanted to, I did, I wanted to, to bring it up about are iguanas dangerous? No, there are many, many words, in my personal opinion, the, to describe iguanas. Dangerous, not one of them. Extremely defensive, yes. Butthead, yes, probably the top two words I would use. But uh, for this, this time right here, this is me and Starla saying, we just love each other, don't we? <laughs> And remember, no matter how much of a butthead they are, always love reptiles. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next time.